are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? Who the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where were you dragged up? A swamp? Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Thank you. Skipper, sort of is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles are invested in the book. Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows maketh the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make first base. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Never the same, are they?
No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors. Rain stop. We can change back into those white bucks now. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F1363. If you give me a minute, I go find a register and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there?
Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Now, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. Open Central Broadcasting Network. For a Just tall man me. with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow Don't the other lead. These guys Dude. can wait. Uh, uh. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think this that... This procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bumps think filling out a missing persons report actually rules him out as a suspect. Looks like a match with the ligature marks. Smarter man than me to connect that. I 
wonder why the picture was turned down. Check if she was a regular. Doesn't look like anything. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Everything here is going to be relevant. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. So she went out without her handbag? At least she was spared that particular indignity. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. Lars was out in the rain last night. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? Your wife was strangled with triple braid rope. The bowline from your boat is a perfect match. Look, I know this looks bad. But I'm gonna have to come to terms with the fact that I let her go. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue, Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad, I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. 
She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? We were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's, but nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Tarleton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Braj, you'll be given in to them your entire life. We could break the husband's story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Maybe. Either way, we need to check the alibi. This, uh, Bobby Ross Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. 11 King, go ahead. We have a possible sighting of a tall, disfigured vagrant at the Hobo Camp on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Use caution, the suspect is wanted in connection with two assaults on females. That's a couple of blocks from the murders. Would you recommend the special? Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Now, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On foot, in a car, by bus, how was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. I said no butter. Jeez, how hard is that to understand? Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over her, promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy? 
is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Bluff. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates? That's him. LAPD! Don't make me chase you, shitbird! Hey, Can't let the son of a bitch get away! Bates! He just wants to talk! He went that way! Got a ride! Get in! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. how it's done. Maybe you shouldn't have waited for me, Phelps. Are you on the side? Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Let's end this farce. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. enough put your hands where I can see them okay Bates you're gonna answer some questions I have a choice in this last night you went drinking with a lady in the bar now she's dead and your face is all messed up I'm in the clear on that she preferred a sailor you could lay it off on him are we finished do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Thanks, ma'am. One I... We're looking for a tall, disfigured man at the camp. Could be difficult. Most bums look deformed to me. Come on, Rusty. This isn't gothic fiction. Hobos are just like you or me. They're just men who've fallen on hard times. You ain't much of a detective, Phelps, if you think a hobo's like me. Clue number one, how do I smell? Of alcohol and stale sweat. You know, I may be onto something here. Very funny, Phelps.
two with LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. I need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out for the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Ah! Ah! shot to keep you down, Phelps. If you want your rightful sh killing, make you feel powerful. What do you think of Joe Lewis? What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. The Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Benson, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help. Jack, I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. But they've been moving it on to addicts. And they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying. And that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. Nothing significant.
Ackerman doesn't look like much of a dancer. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Going this way. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. Are you denying that you strangled Mrs. Terrellson with a length of rope? I'm not denying anything. You have to have proof, lackey. We found a matching piece of rope in your lean-to. I think we'll find the blood will match, too. I own no property. How could it belong to me? A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrellson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrellson. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders. <laughs> 